one of the way that I used to motivate myself that you can too um, if you are someone who loves to um, dress up meaning look good in clothes uh, feel good in your outfits so what would happen if your body started to change and then you no longer feel good when you don't wear that specific outfit um, for example for me sometimes when I look and feel good in a pair of jeans and, um, and then when I don't look good in that pair of jeans I get frustrated and because I wanted to remove that pain I would use the feeling of what I would look good in that jean and how I would feel um, when I get back into that jean. So the, the image of me in that pair of jean or a certain outfit that usually keeps me go to the gym at the times that I don't feel like going. Um, so I know that um, if I go to the gym, I burn some calories and then shred some fat then I would imagine I feel so free and um, and uh, feel good about myself when I am able to put on that jean so if you are someone who who keeps fighting who knows that you don't feel good when you can fit into your uh, smaller size clothes that you used to love to wear and instead you instead of hiding yourself in some baggy clothes force yourself to um, to get back into that pair of jeans even though a little bit tight but having that feeling that <laughs> that uncomfortable feeling because you are a little bit uh, of uh, bigger now but you know that by um, doing a little bit of work you can get back into it so having that pair of jeans that might feel a little bit tight might motivate you, might frustrate you, right? Because you feel not so, um, what do you might call it? You don't feel comfortable like you used to. So yeah, I know, I know it's hard sometimes. Uh, um, we don't look good in one clothes and instead we buy a size, uh, size bigger. But uh, what if you stay in that size? But yet, use that motivation to get back into that size. For example, if you're 27 um, you know, in jeans and you know that it's kind of tight, instead of changing to 27 and a half or 28, stay in that. Put that jean on and feel that uncomfortable um, feeling when, you, when it's a little bit tight. That feeling might be able to motivate you to, um, to step into the gym, to to be careful what you put in your mouth every time you're eating something and you'll be thinking about your tummy right so you know in the past um a long time ago women were um built about uh, around their waist not because to look uh i mean to uh, to look good but also give them that feeling of um you know fullness in here so so you don't overeat right so that's what i do sometimes too um I would wear a pair of jeans so I don't have to, uh, um, what do I call it, you know, overeat because sometimes um, when you wear something loose and often you eat so much that you don't even know that you already eat so much and your tummy is getting bigger and you, you couldn't tell because you wear something loose, right? Have you ever uh, wear sweatpants for a week and then you can get back into your jeans? That's what happened to me. and. And so what I do is I make sure I don't wear um, something loose for a few days. I would get, you know, occasionally get back into that pair of jeans. <laughs> so that's something you can do too, to keep you um, on point where your body is, right? And, and sometimes the size of our pen really uh, is sort of like a target goal for us and for you too.